Neon Genesis Evangelion. So many of you have asked me for my analysis of the religious imagery in this Japanese animated series. I just started watching on Netflix and oh boy, I have so much to unpack here. I'm Father Roderick, I'm a priest and a geek, and I love to share with you the deeper layers of the stories that we like. Now this is a television series that was created in 1995, and it's currently on Netflix, more than 20 episodes, so it will take me a while to binge watch everything. This is probably going to be a series here, so make sure to follow for more. Now, I've only just started to watch the first episode of the series, so I can't really spoil that much. But in case you're planning on watching this series yourself, make sure to save this video for later. Let's start with the meaning of this weird title, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Evangelion. I really had to practice that one. Um, neon, new, or new era. Uh, Genesis, of course, creation. Evangelion comes from the Latin word evangelium, uh, translated in English as gospel, but in, for instance, my native language Dutch, it's evangelie. It means literally the good news. So the title means something like the good news of a new creation. That sounds pretty optimistic. So what's the series about? Let me read you the short summary on IMDb. When violent monsters, called angels, descend upon Earth to destroy humanity, a reluctant young man joins a small squad of pilots under the command of his cold and dictatorial father to drive back the menace using giant machines that seem to have minds of their own. Now, the series takes its inspiration from a lot of Christian sources, uses iconography from Christianity, Islam, Gnosticism, and Kabbalism in the series' examination of religious ideas and themes. So that makes it super interesting for me, of course. The question, of course, is does that have any impact on the story that they are trying to tell? Or is this just, I don't know, fluff imagery just to be cool? Is there a deeper meaning to all this Christian imagery in the series or not? This is actually quite a debate I gathered from the fans of the series. And uh, there are rows and rows of books and articles that have been written about this theme. Assistant director Kazuya Tsurumaki said that they originally used Christian symbolism and themes only to give the project a unique edge against other giant robot shows. And he stressed that there is no particular Christian meaning and the series was not meant to be controversial. However, already from the first episode, I can tell that the creators actually did do quite a bit of research. And so, even though they might not have intended the series initially to have a, a religious subtext, I would be surprised if there wasn't any of that. But I guess that's what we are about to discover. Let me know in the comments what you think of the series and follow for more.